Okay, so we're back in Maya. I'm just gonna open up this hyper shade here and we can create materials within this. So let's create those three different wood grain materials. I'll right click and go create material and I'll go ahead and create another Lambert and I need to make sure and name it. So we'll call it wood grain, save it. And now I'll map that texture in here. A wood grain JPEG, open that up. There we go. So you know what would happen if we just map this to the rest of this object here. Um, it wouldn't look good. We're going to actually have to go in to the UVs, and we'll try to we'll try to simplify. It. Hopefully, not spend as much time as we did on the straps. That's pretty annoying, but we will definitely have to spend some time on it. What we may do is create materials that are darker versions of it. So I might have a light, a wood grain light, and a wood grain dark and I can mix and match that pretty easily. So let's go ahead and do that here in the Hypershade. I'm gonna just graph this network, so I just have this one to work with. All right, I'm gonna select that. And on, then I'm going to create a wood grain dark. I'm gonna control C and control V. And now I have this uh, other version of wood grain, pasted wood grain, and I'm gonna call this one, um, wood grain underscore dark all right and I will just map that one right here so I can actually go in here and I can change the color values here um, even of this texture so I can make it look darker here like that but I also want to introduce some red to this Um, maybe like a darker brown, something like that. Okay, just like that. And now I have this darker version of the wood here, so wood grain dark. And maybe we can use that in our scene. Okay, now we also know on these materials that we need to add our normal map. So I, I'll click this wood grain dark here. We'll assign that normal map, but we'll grab that file and go ahead and select our wood grain normal. That's strap normal, wood grain normal. Oh, I saved that as a PSD. So I need to go back into Photoshop and make sure I save that as a JPEG. So file, save as, and I needed to call, make that a JPEG. Sorry about that. So I'll go ahead and save that right there. We'll go back into Maya and grab that wood grain normal JPEG. Okay, a lot of clicking around. So now we have that working. Got our bump map going on. Great, let's do it over here on this other wood grain. Let's grab that network and Let's actually delete our first wood grain. We've got this one and it's all ready to go. So we'll just copy it over and then lighten it again. So I'll copy this, control C, control V, and I'll graph that pasted one, but first I'll rename it to just wood grain. And I'll graph network. So we have all that stuff that we've already done. Now we just need to go through and um, change the color back to what it was. So we'll lighten it up quite a bit actually. Um, maybe get rid of the red in there. Just like that, okay? Now we may change those values, it's totally cool. But um, now we have these two different textures we can use uh, out of the same texture, basically. We just changed it a little bit. So that's kind of neat. So where are we going to apply these? Now I know I want a darker wood on the outside here. So maybe I'll do these outsides here first. I'll just select faces like that. And I'm going to go ahead and select all the faces that I, I think are gonna be dark here. And as far as UVs, I'm not worried about that. We'll just use planner projections. We won't go ahead, we won't go through and unwrap it and use the UV editor. It's just faster and easier this way. Um, I'm gonna 
make sure I get them all selected here. Like that. And I will do the same over here. It's tedious, a lot of clicking, um, but that's the name of the game. You do get good at clicking, so it helps with, you know, video gaming. Those of you who are into those kinds of games. Okay. Almost done here. Okay. And then I probably want to grab... Well, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Let's just go ahead and assign the dark material here. So this is our wood grain. That's our wood grain dark. So I'll right click and assign material to selection. There we go. And you know how it's going to look. It's not going to look great. It's going to be a lot of goofiness in there. Um, but you can't really see it because it's so dark. And that's okay. If we want to go in and change the texture and, and move it around, we can go ahead and do that soon. But first, let's go ahead and do the light material over here. So now I'm going to select all these other. And we'll assign the light material over here. Okay, so I'll right click on my wood grain and assign material to selection. Okay, now we're definitely going to want to, ooh, it looks like I signed the wrong one. Let's go back over here, assign material to selection. There we go. Okay, so I'm getting something going here. I'll get rid of this. And I'm going to actually get rid of this because it's just bothering me. I'm just going to control H to hide it. I can bring it back when I want it. So we're getting it done. It's looking way better than it did. Lots of problems. We have this strap issue here. Um, we really don't have pieces of wood like we want them or we don't have them offset. We need to change different values and, and grain depths and whatnot. But we're getting there slowly but surely. I know it's tedious, so I'll pause it here and we'll keep going in the next one.